Nate. How's it going, everybody? This is some guy named Nate with Yeti, and um, playing Vice City HD today, like all the time, 24/7, counting them fat stacks. Do okay. not back up into the cop. Oh great, now it's you, green. Yeah, what your car, dude? Green's fine. Green's a good color. Okay, so green and green. Wait, oh wait, we're still doing the mission. Yeah. I'm on. You didn't know Why that. What voice were you trying to do? Uh, not my own. That's a terrible voice. That's what it sounds like when I'm drunk. No, John, you're not drunk. John's not drunk, everybody. He's just an idiot. And Have you seen that show Drunk History? Yes. Are they actually drunk in that show, though? No, they're not. Yeah, they're, they're like... How much has George, it been? George Washington, uh, he signed the Declaration of Independence with his dick, and it took him 12 days to write it. That's how drunk history is. And then Lincoln was like, why am I here? Because everybody thinks Lincoln and yeah, Washington are buddies. There's like a hundred years between the guys. <laughs> uh, like, why am I here, says Lincoln. Where's my beard? It works ass that completely. What's really weird is the picture photos of Lincoln when he was just, you know, not a president. And he doesn't have a beard. He grew a beard, like, when he was in office. Yeah. So, like, everybody recognizes him with the awesome, you know, Honest Abe beard. But guess what, baby? He didn't have that the entire time. He had that gross mole on his cheek the entire time, though. Yeah, and it, you can't really go to a dermatologist. Back then. <laughs> I want the old dermatologist, honestly. Okay, and then they shoot his mole off. Yeah, yeah but they remove it, and then, like, you die gangrene. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to free the slaves after I get this mole removed. Okay, fine, I'll postpone my mole removal surgery and do that, says Abe. Dude, Abe Lincoln was a badass. He hunted vampires. He threw five dollar bills at hookers. He was a cool guy. Yeah, I think this is my favorite environment. He, he's like, I'm gonna be on this bill someday, bitch. Just you wait. Get on Honest Abe's laugh. That's what he said. That's what Honest Abe really did. You know what I really like? Uh, Abe Lincoln in Time Squad. You remember that? Yep. Okay, how did Abe Lincoln act in Time Squad? Uh, he was a robot. No, he was insane. He, there was two robots in Time Squad, though, or in the show. There was one on the cast. Time Squad was a weird show. It was moderately edutainment enough to be like, look, it's Paul Revere, and then that's all they taught you. Paul Revere was totally a guy, and then they're like, yay. What? You're going to be playing the whole next one. Yeah, when we eventually play the next Fart Theft Fardo. You buy that? It's not digital on the PS4 yet. You said it was. I said it was oh, going someone. to be. Prawn. Sonny. What? Obviously you are suffering from hearing problems, so I'll try again. Where's the goddamn money? <laughs> where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gun? Is that the guy, is is that the guy he talks to at the beginning of the game? Yes. Making an idiot out of me, Tommy. Sonny, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm busy right now, sorry. I'll get you the money, Sonny. Yeah, that's what he said. Have you heard of Flavo? Really? Buy the thing. No, I haven't heard of Flavo. Sixty thousand dollars for the prawn studio. Yeah, the whole film lot. That's a pretty good price. Okay, we gotta name these porns based on the stage. Okay, okay. Let me look at stage B right now. Oh, we got another phone call. Oh, okay. Hello. Tommy, Tommy, I had Sonny on the phone. Okay, are you with me? Yeah, I know. He just talked to me like three minutes ago. Something about a man threatening to murder my family, which really yeah, you don't have a family. The crap out of me. What are you gonna do? Grandpa, you can take it easy. I am calm. Calm as a man can be when he's fearing for his life. Stay off the yeah, you're fine. Tool and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am gone. Okay, I'm gonna go listen to some Tears for Fears. Yeah, as, as you can see, it's it's you know yep. winding down. It's, yeah, it's kind of like climbing up for the finale. The, the D calls. stage recruitment drive. So, or have you guys seen the D stage? Hey. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, baby. <laughs> and he's talking about his arm. <laughs> Who is this idiot? You, you, why are you in my space? Why? He sounds like Trevor. Crap? You know? I bet he's his grandpa. Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go. What about Dick's in Space 4? It's my favorite one. Huh? Yeah. That's why. What is this? This is my art. 
See, doesn't he sound kind of Trevory? Yeah. And, he, and he looks like Trevor with a beard. We're gonna turn this place Which is an option in five. I'm, gonna make you rich. I'm Ray Liotta, motherfucker. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... Also, the this, right. the double point hand gesture is something that uh, freaking Trevor does all the time. Actually, yep. Have you ever thought about... This is probably a precursor. Yeah, girls probably. are fine, but you... And he wants to F everybody like Trevor? Jeez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? That time he actually said he something said during something the loading screen. Yeah. Well, we might hear it in post. We gotta name all the movies, John. The oh, UFO is there. called. Okay, sure. This one's called a. Uh, this one's D Dixon Space Four. This is Tommy's living room. Oh no, there's an intruder. You hear what I said? Okay, this is Dixon Space Four. It's a new. Is it? Dude, why? It's. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, sucks. fine. Uh, lonely uh, octogenarian seven. <laughs> okay, good. This one is a ship. No, uh, this one is Drop Anchor Seven. It's my favorite one. And this, this one is Probing Uranus. It's a new uh, film about a love yeah, affair joke, in space. This is the joke, you know. Yeah, it was the moon landing. Yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah, this and one, then the uh, final one is called yeah, it's, uh, it's Pool of Love. That's yeah, supposed to be a pool. Yeah, I think so. It's it's going to get filled with gelatin later. It's going to be a great oh scene. Oh my god. Do you know I forgot about one of the missions in here? Uh, what is it? Uh, is it bad? Who stole my car? Someone stole your car. Car. Whatever. Who took my car? Montana Max has money. Elmira is a pain. How much you get in the car? I'll take this. I There's Hampton and Plucky. Jersey Jumbo Yucky. What about Furball and Plucky? And Gogo -Go is insane. There you go. At Acme University, we get our tuned degree. The teaching staff's been getting laughs since 1933. Yep. I like the green one. You know what makes one of these? Yes, he does. And he also has two number nines. A number three with oh no! What's it with, with traffic? Extra cheese. You know what you do? All you had to do was follow the yeah. number nines. What? Do a montage of uh, idiotic. Uh, How much computer, editing is that gonna take? Computer racks. It's gonna take a while. Well, then tell me the timestamp every crash happens. Oh, well, like that, you know? Yeah. And every time I say fur balls, unlucky, and go go is insane, then that's also a cut. So, what was your favorite? Wa defender? What was your favorite Warner Brothers cartoon? Was it Freakazoid? You remember Freakazoid? Remember the adult joke that everybody makes the meme out of when one of the cops is talking to Freakazoid and he's like, my wife broke up with me. And he's eating a sandwich. He's like, Arr. and Freakazoid's like, why would your wife break up with you? I like meat too much. That's weird. You remember that? It's a tan limo that pulled Yo, out. Yep, it's, yep, it's candy sucks. You interested? Sure. Look at her blabbles. But you'd have to talk to yep, she's just out in public like that. Her lips aren't moving. You, you see her butt cheeks. You and you're glitching into her. Asshole? See if you glitch into some, oh man, everybody got out of the all these Eddie Murphys got out of the car at the same time. Oh no! That's a lot of Eddie Murphys. Yeah, no, it's way too many Eddie Murphys. What are you doing? Uh, oh, you're just supposed to run and kill the pimp? Yep. I thought you had to kill all the Eddie Murphys. Well, we will have to when we come back. Oh, because they're attacking Candy. Well, they attack me. They don't care. And about sailors me. say, Candy, you're a fine girl. What a girl, wife. Eddie Murphy. Wait, how did he have more guys in the car? I have no idea. Dude, he has an Eddie Murphy spawner at the bottom of his car. Does this have, like, a, a stack of Eddie Murphys in his car? That's what I'm saying. No, he hits a button and it spawns three Eddie Murphys. He can spawn as many Eddie Murphys as his heart wants. Just don't let him spawn any more Eddie Murphys. That would be a tragedy. Tragedy. When you think there's something By you the can't way, deal with, what? We have the inferior car for this. Yeah, well, the green one's pretty dope, yo. So it's got worse stats, you say? Yeah, the green one's slower than a Sentinel. Yeah, you can still catch up to him. You still got five minutes in the episode. There are way too many missions where you just gotta chase people. Break him. Break him. Get him. Oh man, is that the pimp? Oh no, Randy Savage. Poor Macho Man Randy Savage. Did you see him? That's how he really died. What's that, Red? He didn't die in 2014 of a heart attack while driving. He was like, oh yeah, exactly I'm driving funny. down the interstate. Ugh. That's what he said. You want to attempt to that was, No, we are not going to. 99% is what we're doing. If the internet thumbs downs everything, I don't care anymore. I'm not monetized anymore. You, you know? That, one one that would be beautiful. And you get 10, subs for that would be great. I want that to happen. Cards. That's what, uh, yeah. That's not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. It only happens when you already have that, mate. Yep. And there she is. Honk! Yeah, I don't have a horn, so you have to be a goose. 
Come on, let's go. Actually, in the front seat. I would be sitting in the back seat. Oh, she's in the back seat. I called it. But yeah, Yeti, she's gross. I would not. I would not have of of the coitus with candy sucks. Do a lot of people think Congressman uh, Stubbs? No, a shrub in this. Okay. Because it's Stubbs and it's a lad. Yes. Congressman Shrub. Yes. Think they're the same guy? No. Okay. But yeah, so you think Congressman Shrub is what? And candy sucks are uh, brother parents. sister. Really? A lot of people think that. That is stupid. That's a weird fan theory, but, and whatever. Go get some pizza. We're going to get some pizza. Now, you know who else is in here, right? Uh, Big Smoke. Uh, oh. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Tommy. You want a party? You just so bright. Oh, so you bring all the ladies over to the, the prawn studio? Yep. Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. Oh, yes, it's both of those adjectives. Hooray, everybody's doing some prawn. Everybody is doing some prawn. You're doing prawn, and you're doing prawn. We're all doing prawn. Get in! It's it's awkward. And then the world's buffest man gets in the passenger seat. He's extremely buff. He's like 800 pounds of pure muscle. Yeah, I do have this map memorized. And his butt can crush watermelons. What? I know exactly where I'm going all the time. Yeah, I do not. I'm pretty much blind. And you're so going everywhere. You do know? I know where that I know where that rampa do is. See that? No. Oh, the same car. No. There's a car right there. Did you know that there was a car right there? I like my freaked out lady voice. It's really similar to my art teacher voice. Oh, this is Tice? Yeah. We keep talking about that. That's the, the, pretty much this voice. This is Tice, isn't Yeah, she probably still is. She's probably yeah. still teaching. I still like uh, one time in pottery class in high school. We were all talking about what movie we wanted to see, and Miss Tice was like, was also making a pot for some reason, and she's like, "I want to see Princess and the Frog," you know? Yeah, that's funny. Uh, I can't remember who was doing it. Yeah, making bongs. No, no, he was drawing gang signs on his piece of paper. Like, yeah, he's drawing hands doing gang signs, and yeah. he's like, "Well, uh, this Sammy. means oh, uh, you're awesome." And Mrs. Tice was like, "Okay." That's funny. Mrs. Tice, get with the times, lady. Yeah. Jesus. She was literally insane. Come on, ladies, get to the event. Oh, cool shark. Yeah, it's Dixon Space 7. Yeah. You got two more minutes, slut. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, bitch? Hang with uh, this. What's this one called? Dildo Dodo. -do -do. This is a hard mission. Dodo Dodo. -do. Yep. Joe. Yeah. And then there's Blackerton Esquire. He's the actor of Dixon Space 7. He's really good. You know? Filming going, Steve. What it's going great. Dixon Kid Space Seven is a is huge natural. hit. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Yay! Anyway, what about the Colonel though? He's gonna be so disappointed. Well, he's gone. He doesn't yeah. care. He can't see what's going on. The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant mm. shark comes in. What and I say about bites the their giant dicks shark? off. I said no giant shark. All right. Too bad. It's already filmed. Pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? You have to have seven camera angles, okay? Don't you know how prone works? Oh, it's called bite. I mean, they're just oh, there you go. Look at that camera angle. That's... The problem is, after this mission, it's kind of like everywhere. Okay. What, that poster? Yeah. Hey, Candy, that totally doesn't look like... You know, a lady's head camera right here. Yep. Totally oh, PG. No. Did you say No. I would have seen audio bars in your oh. spaghettles. He drive the UFO. Wait, this is not Vigilante 8. You're gonna drive the truck ramp? Nope. What are you doing? Oh. Take the dodo that actually has wings and is pink. Yeah. Oh, I remember this one. You have to fly over all the stupid markers and then it farts out uh, flyers uh, from one point to the other. So you have to hit marker one and then it starts farting out flyers and then you have to hit marker two and then it start, stops farting. Yeah, and the problem is this thing doesn't handle too good. No, it doesn't. I'm hot to handle. And it's like the only time we actually have to worry about people. Yeah, I know. It's stupid. Da, 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 da. Oh, I know. Hey, uh, man. Up. Here are you. I'm a man on Shut the sea. Up. No! I can give you what you want, but you got to come home with, with me. Wonderful. You're still fine. Just be easy on the accelerator. You have to have a full throttle or it falls out of the sky. Okay. Well, whatever, because on the next installment of Grand Theft Auto Vice City, will John survive? I don't know. You'll find out on the next part of...
Grand Theft Auto Vice City HD. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next giant shark.